Hello my friends and channel subscribers, Greg here from Brisbane, Australia with another uncut, unedited, no ball video. A couple of days ago I made a first video where I was unboxing uh, Viso Pro Heat 2X Revolution Carpet Cleaner. Now it's behind me. And if you didn't watch that video, I posted in a card above. Uh, it's just a generic video for unboxing and what to expect uh, to see in, in, in the box. And um, kind of, I'm trying to make this video unscripted and uncut so you can see the true perception of. I don't know, sometimes it's difficult to assemble things that are in a box. Sometimes you open it up and you don't expect what you see there. So that video is uh, for those who like unboxing videos. Now, this video is about first use and my first impressions. And what do you think, um, what do I think uh, about carpet cleaner, what they call professional carpet cleaner, even though it's for um, household, uh, normal households. Also, just keep in mind, it's not a cheap appliance. It's actually costs quite a lot of money. It depends where you buy. It's from 500 to, I think, all the way to $800 and depend on accessories and warranties. And I will touch this later. This video is about first cleaning. So what I would like to do is to pause and show you the exhaust tank, which is right in the middle here. After first cleaning of carpet, that I vacuum religiously every single week uh, with really good vacuum cleaner and it is clean carpet to make it I. So uh, the result of that, I'll pause this video and I show you the water that got into exhaust and to show the, the, the how much dirt possibly in average household carpet. So here is the uh, uh, exhaust container and I'll continue video after that. Impressive, isn't it? I did not expect so much dirt to be in a carpet that visually look clean. And I'm the first things first, I'm really pleased with clean result. Uh, to be honest, I don't think that uh, professional vacuum cleaners, and I'm not diminishing that uh, profession, that has time and place, but you would not call, unless you're super rich, professional carpet cleaners every weekend to clean your carpet, especially if you would like to clean things on demand. So here you go. My first impression is uh, the carpet is much cleaner. Uh, the amount of dirt in that exhaust uh, uh, container shows how much dirt is not only on the surface of the carpet but stuck in the fibers of the carpet. And if you, I'm not a, a cleaning freak, but I do appreciate clean environment and definitely don't want to subject me or my kids to something is not hygienic. Uh, saying that, uh, I would like to show you which carpet that was coming from, and I would like you just to see the state of the carpet before start cleaning. So carpet is quite clean. Mind you, the carpet is five years old and was professionally cleaned one year ago. That means I remove all the furniture, clean the carpet, waited for two days to dry and moved in. And that room is unoccupied. There's a, it's a kid's room, but a, a kid there for only one to two days a week and only for sleeping. That goes to show how much dirt is accumulates in that, uh, on the, inside the carpet within uh, a small period of time. So I would like to pause this video and show the state of the carpet before cleaning. Mind you, those uh, black marks, I think it's uh, some toys movement, maybe they shed in some colors, but it's definitely not dirt. And I will discuss uh, after this pause. So this is the state of the carpet before cleaning. Now, when you see carpet before cleaning, I think it's a typical carpet that's in most of the budget households uh, installed by builders. There's nothing wrong with the carpet. The carpet is five years old. It's uh, visibly in a good condition. And after I clean it, and you saw in the beginning of the video how much dirt I got out of it, that's the carpet picture after the cleaning. So have a look and make your own decision whether carpet cleaner works well, at least from a visual perspective. So here it is, clean carpet. Now when you're seeing how much dirt I got in that exhaust uh, uh, 
reservoir uh, there and uh, instead of the carpet before cleaning instead of the carpet after cleaning please put comments down below what do you think of at least uh, operation or outcome of uh, I guess carpet cleaner that, uh, that they call professional uh, however it's a household appliance and if you can afford it it's interesting choice to have I, I mean like I, I until probably last month I did not think of buying carpet cleaning appliance myself and the reason why I start thinking about this and that may help my viewers is uh, when I moved in the carpets were in such a shocking state I thought to replace them but around, I ran out of money and carpet cleaners say well we can restore it anyway of course there will be wear and tear in the fibers but uh, you will see the carpet will be uh, looking like new and yes indeed when I moved in carpets were not looking like new but they were really good looking five year old carpets so and again after being a year in this property I'm thinking wow do I need to replace those carpets because I've got kids I've got guests sometimes you know we spill tea coffee other things on the carpet and some people bring pets from time to time so uh, I decided to buy one especially with my passion for uh, reviewing products I thought that would be really good uh, for uh, subscribers of my channel and other people that just randomly stumble upon this video to understand what to expect when you buy uh, such, a, uh, such a carpet cleaner so first thing first let's talk about assemblies right and then I move to cleaning part so as you can see the item is assembled and I'll uh, quickly come here so that's the assembled item and uh, to be honest assembling uh, was quite easy so what I mean by easy the handle came separately so you kind of click in handle and had a uh, big ish screw you plug the screw in and you need Phillips screwdriver which is not included in the kit so if you buy this one and you don't have Phillips screwdriver you may get stuck so get your Phillips screwdriver ready because that kind of fixes the uh, handle then two of reservoirs come separately you plug in the exhaust one which is at the bottom then you plug as you not plug in it's kind of sliding in uh, one that you put water and solution and then cord comes separately you untie cord it's tied now at the back which is quite neat uh, i'm not sure if it's visible but yes it tied around the, the provide hooks tied around and it's easy to store as well easy easy to maneuver because actual plants are like it's on the wheels and you can wheel it around and because during the operation you need to recline it when you wheel it around it does not touch floor so it's easy to to maneuver so from assembly point i tell you what it was slightly overwhelming in a, in, in, in a sense of it's not your usual appliance it has like um water features and 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 the cords and and other things but uh the moment you read the instructions and follow step by step and instructions were quite clear the mark one two three four five i got it assembled and ready to operate so to get it to operational state you need first to fill up the solution uh, uh, container what is solution container and i put links down below if you need extra solution i buy my solution on amazon um, basically everything is marked at the back i'm not sure if it's visible but you've got lines and you've got all directions how much solution to put in it's very easy you put solution towards what you'd like to do whether you would like to do deodorize or you like to clean deep clean or remove the bacteria i'm not sure what's the difference i think it's just commercial spin it might be not but you add water and then you add solution and water needs to be warm ish and you're ready to start appliance so here's the first gotcha because this reservoir is relatively big i think it's like two two and a half liters i was confident that that is enough to clean a couple of rooms i actually ran out of solution uh, before finishing cleaning first room and as you can see room that not that big it's your standard uh, i guess australian bedroom so uh, if you buy appliance you either 
buy more solution with it because it only comes with three um, kind of introductory packs which will run out in the first use. Uh, you either buy on the spot or if you don't want to pay extra bucks, shop around. Again, I put a link down below to buy on Amazon. You know, you can buy in bulkier kind of container. It may last you for a couple of uses. So here it is. You fill up container with the warm water. You add solution on. And there is a button that you press with the right foot on the right side. And you recline appliance. And this is where, I guess, people that don't like reading instructions, it's very important bit. It's not like vacuum cleaner. You start and you go vacuum. You need to go, you need to press this button, which is deploys a uh, solution into the carpet and do two turns, right? In and out, in and out, like in a straight line. And when you finish, you need to release that button and basically get the solution out of the carpet. So it's not constant operation. Uh, and if you don't read that part of instructions, you end up with a soggy carpet and not quite uh, uh, up to your expectation because it will take four or five days to dry. So again, I mean like, you know, you, you can do it in a, in a line. So basically you can finish the line two times each kind of way and then you stop. And again, two times without pressing the button, it will suck that... Uh, I guess because the, the brushes are rotating, so it will suck in the dirty uh, uh, solution out of the carpet. So that was my first mistake because I'm like, uh, in, in, the, in the half room, everything finished. I'm like, the carpet is wet and it's not clean what's going on. So I had to reread the instructions. So it was the first gotcha. The second gotcha is, uh, and they say, uh, well, vacuum uh, carpet before cleaning. Well, it is compulsory. This is not a vacuum cleaner. This is not substitute to vacuum cleaner. And if you would like good carpet clean, you do need to vacuum your room before you start cleaning. I learned it hard way because I had, uh, I guess, uh, a little bit of grass, a little bit of other debris. You may have a uh, pet hair. It is important to really good vacuum clean your carpet before doing carpet clean for best effect. I mean, like it will uh, uh, clean your carpet, but it may shuffle some debris on, 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 on it. So if you really would like good outcome and you would like this device to live to your ex expectations, also less cleaning, you need to vacuum your room. I found that I didn't vacuum my first go. I found a lot of sand in an in a exhaust uh, container with which, which was really hard to clean. When I was cleaning the bigger carpet, I had a little bit of fluff coming out of it, really hard to clean as well. So, two things. First, vacuum your carpet before cleaning. And second, two goes with pressing the button to deploy solution into the carpet. And two goes with release button so you can suck out of the carpet uh, solution as well. Now, it is really important. On the other side, you've got uh, Max clean, deep clean, and express clean. Look, if you have time and your property empty, I think that uh, Max clean is uh, might be for you. It uses much more solution, but uh, express clean and deep clean at those settings are good enough for carpets if you will clean them in a weekly or monthly basis. So be mindful that also the the lever is here, and this is how you basically change it. You you push it up and down so I'll, I'll leave it on deep clean and that's good enough for me because one uh, reservoir is enough for one room and also I can afford to turn the fan on and dry carpet overnight with the window open so how to clean carpet in a normal life environment first of all you need to ensure that no one will use that room for at least 12 hours the carpet will be wet and it needs to dry even though you, you uh, try to clean it with the uh, lowest setting possible, right? So, vacuum your carpet, apply solution, two goes with press button, two goes with unpress button, then let your carpet for 12 hours with fan if you got fan 
or at least windows open to stay and dry out and i tell you what as you saw the carpet is clean i'm quite impressed now let's talk about uh, noise levels and cleaning so yes appliance is noisy it does two things it uh, has motor that will suck everything up in the exhaust container and also there's a two counter rotating brushes so there's a lot of moving parts and it's very powerful appliance so if you think you've got sensitive uh, kids or uh, pets to noise i think uh, i would suggest to avoid cleaning the carpet when uh, those creatures or kids around um, house because obviously it won't uh, it will uh, I think freak them out uh, the plants is noisy it's not noisy like you need uh, like uh, again I guess ear protection but it's very noisy uh, to, to be with someone in a room and second one is you need to ensure that whatever room you clean no one enters in because the carpet will be still wet so my first impressions is uh, or are uh, it was easy to assemble with a couple of gorges. Uh, you need to take care of solution. I was quite surprised how fast uh, the uh, carpet cleaner using solutions uh, solution that you put in. Even it looks like a big reservoir. It's barely enough for one room. So please buy your solutions before using it first time. It is noisy. You need to vacuum it. You need to make sure that you. Uh, uh, Kind of dry carpet with not pressing the button at least two times and let your room sit for 12 hours at least unattended would i recommend to buy it yes i would uh, i will keep this appliance and even though i said i'll buy it i review it and sell it um, no way I'll, i'm gonna keep it uh, and it will be i think monthly deep cleaning in my household and there are a couple of models of the appliance and I'm not sure what's difference. In my first video, if you didn't see again, a uh, card up uh, above there, there's a different warranty and prices for this appliance with a couple of different uh, attachments. Uh, you know, the budget version of the appliance is good as well, but if you've got pets and kids and bigger property and carpets, I would suggest to actually go to a more expensive one with a bigger warranty and more, more attachments. But for now, uh, everything that you need, I'll put links down below. If you like this video, please hit uh, like, comment if you need to know anything else. And please subscribe to my channel if you would like to see other reviews. It's enough for today. Uh, I'll create another video with tips and tricks. Uh, but it's a second video in this series of VSO, uh, what's it called? Power Pro Heat to X Revolution Appliance. Thank you so much for watching. Grab from Brisbane, Australia. Until next time.